The number of students currently being homeschooled in the U.S. is now at record levels. Eyewitness News reporter Tim Johns explains why more local families are making the decision to homeschool and what some of the benefits are. Tim? That's right, Dave Rochelle. One thing that really stuck out to me after doing these interviews was that many of the old myths associated with homeschools aren't necessarily true and that proponents stress that homeschooling is just an option that parents have to educate their children. After initially sending their children to private schools for several years, Casey Hathaway and her husband made the decision to homeschool their three kids. We love the community there, but it just wasn't the right fit for our children. The Hathaways wanted their children to have a more holistic education and felt that the school their kids were attending was lacking in areas like the arts and physical education. We really just didn't see enough results fast enough, and so we made the decision to simplify our life and change our lifestyle. Beyond customizing the type of education their children would receive, Hathaway said, that having the ability to remove her children from an environment of materialism and peer pressure was also a big factor in her and her husband's decision. We wanted to focus on them riding horses. We wanted to focus on them doing chores, learning real life skills. And the Hathaways aren't alone. More parents than ever are making the decision to homeschool their kids. Deanna Downs is the director of Valley Oaks Charter School, a dependent charter of the Kern County Superintendent of Schools. Down says that as old stereotypes have faded away and more people have begun seeing it in a more positive light, homeschooling has become increasingly popular. They're trying to do what's best um, for their child, and so we help them um, with the education side. Not only the education side, but also social and emotional. Um, we believe in educating the whole child. And while homeschooling does have its drawbacks, Hathaway says the biggest challenge she faces is oftentimes the criticism from those who don't homeschool. Until they're willing to listen to the amazing things it has brought to our life, there's nothing you can say to them. Some of homeschooling's biggest critics often cite things like uneven subject instruction as well as the lack of social elements as reasons why they're against it. However, there is research that suggests that homeschooled kids do better on tests and in college than their peers in public schools. Reporting live in studio, Tim Johns, Eyewitness News.